What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I wanna to show you guys how you can bring any of your artwork or logos and bring them in as decals so you can stick them to like walls and floors and have them look like they're actually a piece of the object. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, I'm actually gonna come down here. I'm inside of UEFN and I'm gonna come down to my content browser and I'm just gonna dock this into my panel here so that I have it always here. And then I'm gonna come up to Windows Explorer and just drag this over. And I have this Fortnite logo that I'm gonna use. As you can see, it's just a PNG. It has an alpha channel. I wanted to use this because I had the alpha channel so I could show you guys how this is really cool, how we can have this stick against the wall, even bringing in the alpha. So I'm gonna left click and drag this into my scene here. And now we have it inside of our content browser. Now, if I right click anywhere in my content browser, it's gonna bring up this menu and I'm gonna left click on material. And then I'm just gonna name this one F underscore decal. And the reason I use underscores is because Unreal Engine in particular doesn't like spaces. So I'll always separate it with the underscore. But if I double click on this, now this is gonna bring us up to our material graph. Now, if I make this a little bit smaller, just so I could take my PNG that I brought in here, I'm gonna left click and drag it into here, this little graph area. Then I can make this larger again. So we're at full screen. So now we have our material node here and we have our PNG here. Now, the first thing I wanna do is actually right here where it says RGB. I'm gonna put this to base color, and then we do have an alpha channel. Like if I click on this, you can see right now, nothing is showing up, and that's because we need to make our alpha channel go to our opacity. But as we can see, it's actually grayed out. So if I click on my material node right here, and then come down here to the bottom left, right here where it says blend mode opaque, I'm gonna left click on this, and I'm gonna click on translucent, and now you can see we actually have opacity pop up here. So right here where we have the A, this stands for alpha channel. I'm gonna left click, drag this over to opacity. And now you can see that we actually have our image in here and everything looks good, right? But the one thing that we don't have is telling it that this is actually gonna be used as a decal. Like right now, basically all we did was bring in the image and we have it on our material is just an image with an alpha channel. And while we're at it, let me actually show you what it looks like with this. And then I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look with the decal. So I'm actually just gonna save this out right now up here in the top left-hand corner, click on that little disc. I'm just gonna minimize this. And then down here, I'm gonna hit save all just to make sure everything is saved. But you can see that right here where we have decal, we have our little material here. So if I'm just gonna put this on something like a simple shape, maybe just like a plane, let me actually rotate this down so we can see it. I'm just gonna drag it out here a little bit. Come down here to my transform. Let's just make this an even 90. Maybe even make it a little bit larger, like around three. So if I left click on my image here, my material, bring it on here. Now you can see that we actually have our image here inside of our scene. And yeah, if you wanted to, you could post it up against here. You could say like, hey, look, my logo, it looks cool here, but it doesn't actually look like it's a part of this brick wall, right? Like we don't have any of the bump or normals or anything extruding through, but I'm gonna show you guys how we can actually take this to the next level and make it look like a spray paint on or even stuck on like a sticker or a poster. So going back into my material node here, I'm gonna left click on this. And right here where we have our results node, I'm gonna left click on this. And down here where we have material domain where it says surface, you wanna make sure you're on deferred decal. I'm gonna left click on this and it's gonna disappear from here, but that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna click on save and then I can exit this out. Now I'm gonna get rid of this plane because we're not gonna need it because we're actually gonna bring this in as a decal instead. Now the easiest way to find it is if I come right here where it says quickly add the project, I'm gonna left click on this. And right here where it says place actors panel, left click here and we can actually just search for decal. So I'm just gonna type in decal. And now you see that we have our decal actor in which I could just left click, drag it into my scene. And now you can see it's actually in our scene but it looks a lot weird, right? So if I come back over here to my details panel, right here where it says decal material, I'm gonna click on the material that I just made. I'm gonna left click, drag this into here. And now we have our decal in here and it still doesn't look right. And that's because we're actually, if you look right here where we have this purple arrow, let me actually make this full screen here so we can see it better. But our purple arrow is actually pointing down so what it's basically telling it is that the decal is going to be going below, but we want it pointing at the wall. So it's as easy as just rotating it over and having to point in the direction of the wall. So if I come right here to my rotational tool, I'm just going to drag this over until we're about 90%, somewhere around there. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller too on a scale. So let's say maybe like 
0.5 just to make it a little bit smaller and now you can see that we actually have our decal inside of our brick wall well not inside but on top of our brick wall and it looks a lot better so if i scroll in here a little bit more or just push it in you can see that we have this green box and that's basically our volume box right so it's basically saying like the more that is actually on the wall the more transparent it's going to be and it's going to go in reverse there too so we probably don't want it to be this size right because if i look at the back of the wall you can actually start it seeing that come through on the other side as well so the way that we go about that is coming down here to scale i'm just going to click on this and then right here where we have a red axis i'm just going to make this a little bit smaller maybe like 0.1 somewhere around there and you saw that it disappeared and that's because whatever is colliding with this green volume box here that's what's going to be where our decal is going to show up so if i slide it back in here now we can see it we just have it on this side we don't have it on that side and that's because we made it a lot thinner but if we actually look at it close up you can actually see some of the brick is starting to extrude through and as i was saying before you can always just adjust it accordingly like if i push this all the way through here somewhere around there it looks like it's a piece of that wall and that looks really cool so this is a way that you could take your logos and your artwork and everything to the next level inside of fortnite creative aka uefn if this helped you out make sure you leave a comment down below this is a brand new channel so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and until next time stay fresh keep building and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care